The state of the state broadcaster, that is the topic of tonight's byline. The CBC held a public meeting yesterday. It was their annual public meeting where they invite select members of the Canadian public in to see how the state broadcaster is doing. And according to Hubie Lacroix, they are just swell. You'll remember that once upon a time I had a real problem with CBC because, well, because while their newsroom, their ruggedly individualistic reporters love to hold the government to account using the access to information system, CBC executives, they prefer to keep how our tax dollars are spent secret. Well, has it improved? Hubie says absolutely yes. Whether it's us um, going in front of heritage committee meetings, uh, senate committee meetings, presenting our corporate plan, presenting our annual report, uh, we've released a, what, close to 100,000 pages on access to information requests. We're up to about 1,650 access to information requests that we fill. There's about 30,000 of them on our website, the, the most frequently asked questions and what we think are the most pertinent. We've significantly improved our turnaround time. We were not very good a couple of years ago. Now we're best in class. Best in class. I can think of something that rhymes. Never mind. Um, he's blowing smoke there. Let me show you how great their improvement is. Here's one example of them hiding stuff. We pay for CBC to tell Canadian stories. Then CBC sells those stories to other media companies for cash. We've already paid for them. CBC pockets the money. So we asked for details of their deal with Microsoft, the global tech giant whose website msn.ca features CBC stories. And here's what I got back. We got pages with the information stripped out. So when, when Hubie Lacroix sits there and says, hey, we've got tons of pages up on our website. This is what he's talking about. Blank pages. That bit that they scrolled by that has a little bit in there, that shows you who signed the deal. That's it. Now, this is a business deal by a government-owned broadcaster. I'd say that's pretty bad. And I've pointed out before, we can have, find out state secrets of how the war in Libya is being waged while it is happening. But not this. What makes CBC so special that they get to hide? Here's another great comment from the CBC meeting. A CBC employee actually saying they get paid a lot less to work at the state broadcaster, but they do it for love. Jobs that pay better than we do. Uh, but the fact is, people are at CBC because we can do everything we just heard. Because when you go to those other places, there simply is the range of opportunities to, to stretch your wings as a, as a journalist, for example, to those programs or write. Um, you don't have the commercial interest pressing down on you. <clears throat> yeah. Anecdotally, I can tell you from years of working alongside CBC folks, of having friends that have or still do work at CBC, that they do not get paid less than people in the private sector or the private broadcasters. I mean, that is an absolutely laughable claim. But I'll go one better. Let's look at what the facts say. CBC employees make 39% more on average than the average Canadian. Those are according to the figures. Documents we received from CBC's 2007 payroll, and forgive me here, they're awfully slow at getting us new information. But in 2007, CBC full-time employees earned an average wage of $55,712 compared to an annual income of $40,092 for Canadians across the board. 39% more than the average Canadian. So don't believe the hype. Finally, there was Hubie trying to explain away his bad management. And really, that's what it is. You'll remember that I told you recently about CBC's absenteeism. How... They're about double the private sector in terms of days off. Well, let's refresh. The average private sector employee takes 8.9 sick days per year. The public sector average is 12.6. While for CBC workers, it's 16 and a half. You know who, men, who takes as many sick days per year as CBC folk? Nurses, the people that deal with sick people every single day in our hospitals. Nurses and CBC workers. It's proof that Hubie has bad management, but I'm sure he doesn't see it that way. It depends on what, I suppose it depends on the programs, it depends on, on the history, it depends on the age of your employees, it depends on a number of factors. A number of factors. Like bad management. So while this guy fritters away $17 million on employees that don't show up for work and make sure that he and his executive team get huge bonuses while crying poor and laying off the lowly worker bees, the CBC continues to dip into your pocket for whatever they feel is worthy. In this case, it was flying Hubie and a bunch of other people from Toronto out to St. John's, Newfoundland 
to crow about how great they are. Cost to you at least $80,000. That's the figure they're telling us right now. Is it worth it to you? Do you feel better about CBC? Or is it time to sell them off? You know where I stand. And that's the byline.